All right, so I'm gonna show y'all what I'm working on. This is just gonna be a short clip. This is the bottom of the relays for the daytime running light. So this is the fuse and these are the relays. This is the relay that I'm tapping. And I have the pins at the bottom of the relay. So if you're looking at it like this from the bottom, this is the relay I'm using. And this, is, this one has power when the headlights are on this pin. This one has power when the park lights and the auto which is the daytime running lights are on or whenever the vehicle's on. But these lose power when this is on. However, you can't just splice both wires. So I'm using that to power the wires for the for my halo daytime running light. So if I turn off the headlights and I'm just in auto, the halo is still on. I know the fog lights are hazy and they look terrible, but if I put it in park, my park lights they're still on now you cannot so i needed both circuits because like i said when the headlights turn on this has power but when these are on they lose power when you turn on the headlights so i had to use both wires and i'm running a daytime a dio dynamics fail by turn module this basically does the same thing it cuts power when one is on so if you have a brake light on, this is made for tail lights, but I'm using it for this. But if you have your, you know, your brake lights on, when you cut on the turn signal, it's supposed to cancel out the brake light to run the turn signal circuit. So I have, so basically this is the headlights and, I mean the daytime running light and the park lights. And then this is the circuit for the headlights. So when I turn on the headlights, it cancels the power that's coming from the daytime running lights. Because if the power, is the flowing constant for both when it goes to this wire it's going to complete the circuit and the high beams will turn on i know it doesn't make sense but that's because your high beam and your daytime running light are in the same light bulb if that makes sense but nevertheless i'm using that module and this wire powers each of these uh daytime running light halos so it powers these on both sides so this is a good way i've used this for other modules before so these are made for tail lights but you can use them for other things because they cancel them out but this is a good way to have 24 hour like daytime running lights and these will lose power when the vehicle turns off anyway so although the only thing is even if you turn all the lights off they still are on but if i turn the vehicle off these stay on but i mean but it's off so they're gonna cut off but I specifically use the pins under this one. So this is a green wire and this is a red wire. And then that's a black and white wire, that's a red one, which is at the bottom. And since I took the power, so this green wire right here, this green wire is what's powering, the, gives it power when the auto and the park lights are on. This one, this is the red wire I'm telling you about, has power when the, um, daytime has power when the headlights are on so this is the this is another wire that i spliced this is a second green wire this isn't the same green wire but i stuck this in the terminal where the green wire is so this right here this green wire is plugged into this terminal where that green wire at the bottom is and then this red wire i put my own this little weird peach brownish wire is going here normally i don't recommend people ever doing this don't ever do this in a fuse box the only reason i'm doing it to the relay is because it'll if there is an issue it'll just blow the fuse here typically but i would never like tell someone to stick these into a fuse box so do as i say not as i do but this works in this scenario so i hope that gives you so this practice could be used for other Lexus models because I'm sure they use other Lexus models of this time. So the late 90s to early 2000s that had this type of setup for the dates on running lights. It just depends on the vehicle though because I think the IS300 is a little bit more weird. But you could use this practice, but obviously you have to know the wiring. That's why I had to test all these with the voltmeter to find out which ones had power when XYZ was happening. And I'll set this up to where I can send this to people if you want the diagram for it.